So I'm going to talk about cluttering WebKit GTK. Now to the boring stuff. Um, so last year I presented what we were planning to do. So we were actually on the way to doing it. We had WebKit Clutter, which was a project we built for a customer. Uh, it was built as a research and development for, uh, for a research and development IVI platform. It was heavily based on WebKit GTK 1, the WebKit 1 version of WebKit GTK. Uh, every time we talked about upstreaming it with the customer, they said, yeah, we're not sure we're going to you know, keep working on this, so maybe not. And well, it had accelerated compositing very early on because we had a scene graph that we could use to do that, which was good. It was built for a purchase. Uh, Apertis is the AVI platform that's now being released. Um, it's based on Debian and GNOME technologies. It was uh, in the process of being made public last year. Now it is public and we have helped on some of the components. Uh, those of you who were at G Guadec might have seen there was a talk by one of the Bosch people involved and uh, it was actually very uh, heavily criticized because he said something like that GP we want to keep GPL3 out of our systems. So we, we are probably going to see follow-ups <laughs> follow from that. So these are the websites that you can go to to see what the Apertis project looks like. Um, there's a wiki, there's a git repository, that's where uh, the WebKit GTK, cluttered WebKit GTK code lives. Um, and I also told you that we were using as much WebKit GTK infrastructure as possible. We were using Clutter GTK uh, to wrap WebKit GTK in a Clutter actor. And the reason why we use Clutter, I, I think I should have started with that, but the reason why we use Clutter is this customer and this project, Apertis, uh, they use Clutter for their UI. So we are in discussions with them about probably considering GTK or something else for it, but I currently use Clutter. Um, so input handling is also drawn, done through the Clutter actor and not through the GTK actor, uh, the GTK widget. And the reason for that is all of the applications of this uh, system were using things like clutter pen action to deal with scrolling uh, or panning. Uh, and they are very keen on being able to customize behavior of such things. So we had to provide lots of API uh, to customize the animation for you know, like things like connected scrolling, that kind of thing. They want to be able to customize it per OEM so if a, if a car maker wants a specific scrolling behavior, they could make it so. Um, so we were a very early adopter also of the threaded compositor. Uh, we used it to, to do some uh, fast zooming animations that, were, that are actually current, currently broken, so we have to look into that. <laughs> Uh, we had some features ported from WebKit Clutter. WebKit Clutter had some very some specific features built for the Apertis project uh, built into it, and we ported some of them. But otherwise, it's a pretty much vanilla WebKit GTK. Currently, you can install the package and run mini browser from it, and you wouldn't notice a difference. But you can also use the GTK Clutter launcher program, which will use the Clutter actor wrapper in it. So last year we were we were really keen on the, uh, on this news that we had convinced uh, our the customer and the Apertis project to move away from WebKit Clutter and go to this new WebKit GTK with a Clutter wrapper actor. But and we were very happy that we would uh, be able to work more upstream because since we would be much closer up to upstream to the upstream project. But during our efforts to reach that point where we could start being closer to upstream, we had a very, um, let's say, uh, 180 degrees change in priorities. And we had to sit down. Emanuele, especially, was working like crazy, whipping up a demo 
a proof of concept for some stuff that the client wanted and yeah we didn't really work much on this goal at all uh, at the beginning of the year we're now getting back on track for it the good news though is with these proofs of proofs of concept we had quite a bit of performance investigation that we could do and we developed some knowledge about what was what were some of the uh, bottlenecks on the rendering pipeline so and we built some uh, alternatives also for it so now we have GDK Cairo draw from GL on WebKit GTK which uh, removes the need for GL read pixels <laughs> which sucks uh, on the Wayland pipeline uh, but we also while working on that, we, we, had, we used something very similar to that, but we realized that using G, an EGL image directly would be much faster. So we, we built, uh, well, not much faster, but a bit faster. Uh, <laughs> we built uh, a new GTK function for that. We are proposing it. We were proposing it as an alternative to GTK, but Emanuele Bassi recommends that we actually add it as another code path inside GDK Cairo draw from GL. So for the next WebKit stable release, we might have a different I GL. I don't talk about much today because mm, it's basically the same of what we ended up using. Yeah, so, so forget about it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so we might have that. Um, so the reason why so the reason why we stopped using, like I said before, we stopped using Clutter GTK, and the reason why we stopped using Clutter GTK it was it was having really terrible cost benefit for us. Uh, like it was leading to each with each release or with each change to Clutter or to GTK or you know the changes in backends. Clutter started using GDK, the GDK backend, and then. Uh, with Wayland, uh, you know, more changes. With each change, things got hard, a bit harder. So we were eventually having to spend a lot of time trying to make Clutter GTK work for us. And we, we thought, well, why not drop it and just deal with everything we need ourselves? So right now what we have is we have the GTK, the web view, widget hosted on a GTK off-screen window. We disable most of its uh, state handling, so focus, uh, view state, pretty much anything that it, it uses to keep state. Uh, also, event handling is, is done through the actor. Everything goes through the actor. The actor controls focus manually on the widget. Um, it also con controls the view state. Um, and so, like the, using this, we could, uh, well, first remove Clutter GTK, which was a pain, and also have better control of what we were doing. And one, one good thing that we got from that is that we no longer need to go through the GTK widget for rendering. So instead of using the, the rendered GTK widget as, uh, to show inside the, the Clutter actor, what we actually do now is we do the same as the GTK port does. So we get the texture from the Wayland compositor, just like GTK does. We wrap it in a Kaggle texture 2D, and we add it to the paint node of the actor. So the code is very simple. It's, I don't think you will be able to see it, but yes. So essentially, it's the, get, the, the Wayland compositor get texture here, and then create a, a Kaggle to texture 2D here, and then you, and then on the paint node implementation of the actor, it's a class method for the actor. We essentially just add this texture and say paint this. Uh, some some people might wonder why, if you're pretty much doing everything on the clutter actor, why would you use the GTK widget? So the reason why we want to do that is we want to duplicate as little as possible. So something we learned from our previous cl WebKit Clutter experience is that we, have, we essentially were copying the API and we, uh, we had lots of duplicate code and 
it didn't gain as much. So we want to duplicate as little as possible. Uh, the GTK widget still manages nicely things like sizes and dealing with the web process. Um, we do, dup uh, and also it has a very large API. So uh, we want the AP our API user to use some of the WebView APIs directly. But we do duplicate some of the signals and APIs for convenience. So things that, that are very commonly used, like tracking load state, loading URI, that kind of thing, we duplicate just for convenience. So that's it. That's what I have for today. I hope we'll be able to contribute uh, a lot more upstream now that we are very much closer to WebKit GTK upstream. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them now or send us email. Any question? I guess not. <laughs> so we can have cake. <laughs>